Hello everybody, Cody here, Boss Poses, and today I'm going to show you guys uh, how to make a Shadow Catcher inside of Eevee. That way you don't have to go to Cycles to do the whole thing, you know, you can do this in Eevee and render everything so much faster doing it this way. So let's just get right into the basics. So just start with whatever you want to Shadow Catch. So in case you have a plane in your VFX scene or whatever it may be, you just want to make sure you have that highlighted. The first thing we're going to do is go into Shading Mode. We're going to go into New. We're going to delete this first principal BDSF shader right here. We're going to press uh, Control A, or sorry, Shift A. We're going to add a color ramp. The diffuse shader. <clears throat> the shader to RGB. Another diffuse shader. A transparent output that up here Oop. let's just move our material so keep the material output into there and then next thing we want to do is have a mix and mix shader right here okay so now we can start connecting everything so let's connect our diffuse shader to the shader inside of our shader to RGB let's connect our color to the fractal of from our shader RGB to our color ramp Let's connect our color ramp to the fractal of the mix shader. Let's set our output of our BDSF to the top uh, shader of the output of our mix. Let's set our transparent also to the bottom shader of our mix. And the next thing you want to do is choose your shadow color. So we want to make this black. So just make it like a highlighted gray like that. And then we're going to take our shader on our mix shader and put that to the surface output. And now if you notice up at the top that it did start to change. So if I go into layout, you'll notice that it is black and you do see the shadow right here. So if I were to move the light right now, it would position differently. But I'm going to show you how you can fix this issue that you're seeing now. So with the uh, plane still selected, what you want to do is go into your materials. We want to come down, enable black based culling, take your shadow mode and make it alpha clip and then change your blend mode to alpha blend and then you'll have a shape shader output like so. So now if I were to add another plane and scale it up, <clears throat> you'll notice that we have a shadow catcher on the bottom. We can use that in our VFX scene if we really wanted to. And then we can also change the color. So if we can go to our shadow catcher plane and you'll notice that it is transparent, okay? So the next thing we can do is go into our fractal and we can actually uh, change the depth of our shadow if we wanted to. So if you increase that, you can get it that way. And you can even reverse it if you wanted to have a shadow output. So if I take down the black and I reverse it, now you have a cast. Now just reverse those again and the whole plane's that way we have a darker shadow and then you can actually start to animate and then we can make that even bigger so if we wanted to have multiple cubes in the scene now you notice that the shadow does take over we got multiple planes for our shadow catcher so thank you all for tuning in if you liked today's video and if this helped you please do like and subscribe it helps out a lot and i'll see you all in the next tutorial have a good evening